This is 50 Radio. This is 50.com. I am your host, that gossip VM. The selfie assassin. The Heineken is here. Pizza DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorough Zano. The bridge to the streets. Let's go. Introduce yourself, gangster. Hey, what's up, man? I already know it's your boy Lucky Luck, straight from Brooklyn. I'm in here right now. I just want to say shout out to y'all for having me on the show. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're a modest from Brooklyn, Brooklyn nigga. That's cool. That's dope. Before the Brooklyn prospect. I grew up in Brownsville. Oh! Whoa, in the mic, in the mic. Brownsville. Yeah, I grew up in Brownsville. Oh. That's a very thorough area. Nah, like, Van Dyke. Project. Oh, shit. Woo! Yeah, That's killer season over there. Right you know, back in the day, Brandy, Brandy and Sierra used to hang out in Brownsville back in 2004. They were. A lot of big oh, people. BK Brownsville. Brownsville. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, he did. Now, a lot of people came from Brownsville, you know, that's big. Mm hmm. Mike Tyson. Danny Mike Jacobs. Tyson. Danny Jacobs. Who the fuck is that? We used to bring out Brandy and Sierra. No, you got this song out right now that's making some headways. Which one Which one you like? The, 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 Tell the, me. The one that got hijacked, my nigga. Yeah, all day. Yeah, talk yeah, about it. It's crazy, man, because how I actually happened, let me break it down to y'all exclusive. Mm hmm. You know, I put this song out, it had to be like a year ago. Little Bob, mm -hmm. I saw a couple thousand records on it. Quiet, though. So, I smooth. Thought I, I thought I registered it. But obviously it didn't go through to BMI or whatever. So long story short, I got a hit up like, yo, when the song came out, Kanye dropped it. He heard the record, da da da, it sounds similar. I'm like, yo, hold on, this is Kanye West we talking about. The mm -hmm. biggest rock star in the game. I'm not, I'm not gonna put myself on that on that platform to say that the records sound the same. I'm gonna let the fans do that for me. And what record? record? What, yeah, what, what Kanye record? Because these, these are some right. people are saying people are gonna say these are some big accusations. That's let's fight. Let's, let's, let's put let's put the, the so the I want together. to have my ends covered before I make any statements. You feel me? I'm gonna let the fans hate the two records and compare the hooks. I think the hooks sound a little similar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what record are we referring all to? Day. All day. Okay. All day. I'm not all saying, day. All day. This is the biggest oh. rock star in the game, so I'm not saying they took my record. I didn't even hear it. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying it happens to be a coincidence that it sounds a little similar. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's saying one thing, and I guess we get a chance to play it if we get a chance. But the words are just similar. And I feel like that's dope, because I look up to Kanye West. I mean, I grew up on Kanye album, and whole album. So this is important for the culture, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like, you know, it's all timing and how things work. You know, so why did you reason. say it was hijacked? Because when you <clears> hijack <throat> something, you take it over. I mean... If somebody's taking your record, right? Mm -hmm. This is how niggas do. Same thing that happened with other artists. Some little nigga. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Right. Mm -hmm. You know this, Viv. I, look, it's been done on my website. Yeah, you know it. They'll take your article as if yes, you didn't do it. Exactly. And this happens all the time. We see it in the blogs all the time. Like, mm -hmm. un underground now, artists. That's but listen, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, go with it. He's a DJ and a mm -hmm. producer. Well, not only that, I got, I got something very important to say regarding him. You know Cassidy? Of course, of course. You got a relationship with him? No relationship. You never done that with him musically? No. no. Okay, because the song you talking about, the Kanye West, all day, mm -hmm. nigga, Cassidy wrote that. What? Same word. Okay, that's what's up. That's all. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I didn't know that. Yeah. That's I why, know that's why. And also, one. also, Wiz had it. Had the song called All Day, which he dropped. Right. Yeah. What I'm trying to say, if you look at the release date of my record, go on YouTube, type in Lucky Luck, mm -hmm. all day. It clearly states I dropped it in May of 2014. Right. Everybody else dropped their record after. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I'm not saying nothing, I'm not playing no cards, but all day, this is what so I'm doing. So who produced your record? Huh? Who produced your record? My dude, this B, he from France. Okay. But, is know. there a possibility that... Maybe... That's why I asked him when I asked him, did yeah. you know Cash? Because I know Cash wrote that record. I was there with Let me ask you this. The producer, because Kanye is known for working, for getting a beat, right? Of course. And then rearranging beats and getting yeah, beats with different that, people. So now, he, have you spoken to your producer and said, hey, does he have, because you know, these are the things that people are going to ask you from right, a right, devil's right. advocate standpoint. Of course, of course, man. Like I said, he's the biggest artist in the game. I would have felt the way of somebody up and coming and took my style. But I'm not saying anything. I look up to him. I actually made a video for A Lil Mama. Yeah. It was inspired by his video, All Falls Down. All Falls Down. Uh -huh. I mean, that's like a classic for me. Like, mm -hmm. I grew up on that. So I, I made a video s similar to that, but in my own way. How old are you? Because you keep saying you grew me, up to I'm 20, I'm 23. Oh, 
These niggas see everything. Well, I sold a couple of thousand records independently for my own company. You think you could do something like that and these motherfuckers don't know? Right, right. It's a small world. Yeah. It's a small world. That's, That's what right. I'm saying. Yo, holla. Right so he said we from Brooklyn. Viv, <laughs> you're from Brooklyn too? My mother is, not me. I'm from Brooklyn. That means you have it in your DNA. I am from Queens. <laughs> for real? Queens? Yes. Queens. South side. Oh, That's South Brooklyn. Side. She, she said, know what's up. Yeah, she know what's up. You know said, I know what's up. Southside niggas never go inside their house. They Southside stay in the is store. outside. Exactly. Them well, niggas well, stay on overtime at the corner you store. You know. Man. Yeah, I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, I be in every hood, so I know. Now you make these these comparisons. Like, like I, I said, said I, yeah. I'm gonna let the fans decide for us. Go on YouTube right now. I got over forty thousand views on all day. Nothing crazy, but go listen to the hooks and compare the two and see. Give your opinion on the comment. Give your opinion and. Going to side, you know. everything that I put up. They ask me if I'm getting paid all day. They ask me if I'm getting laid all day. They ask me if my life is made all day. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't trade all day. I do this all day, all day, all day. All day. I do this all day, all day, all day. I do this all day. Upset about it because I've been working on my mixtape for months. Mm. On every song I say all day. Mm. As an ad lib, that's my main ad lib. That's right. my thing. Like you know Joel's used to go. Hey, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Gotta okay. have your thing. All day mm -hmm. was my thing. Like, I say that in a different tone than these rappers. So, but then to just put it out, you know, make money off. It's cool. I was just mad that I didn't have my business right. I got my own company. My name is trademark. My company is trademark, but I didn't trademark all day. So it's a free world. You know. They so gotta work on it. Had yeah. you did that, you would have been Bro, annihilating these things. I swear niggas. to God, no lie. I was about to trademark it. Same time I trademarked my name. I was just starting out. I'm like, yo. Shit. But I didn't do it, man. When it's I'm, not your fault. That shit costs a lot of money. Exactly, it sure bro. Sure does. Gotta think about it. You no, know, I know how much like, it costs, my nigga. I'm on my own, so I'm not got no label behind me. I'm trying to do this myself, so I'm not worrying about somebody stealing my ad label or something or making money off of it. You know, shout out to Kanye, man. He blacked on them verses. Yeah, he did. The black verses was dope. I mean, yeah. Cassidy wrote them. Oh, you said cash. Cash yeah, right, right, right. So that's why, at the end of the day, if you want to point a finger, mm -hmm. Kanye didn't write it. Right, right, right. And it's so simple, you and know. Yeah, right. yeah, Kanye. Yeah, and it's a simple, simple every, record. That's, it, and that's a statement people say anyway. Mm -hmm. You're not the only one that says all day. Right. Maybe to an extent, it's a habit for you, but right. that's that's a New York term, all day. Exactly. But Put the money in the bank like whoa. Hit the gas in a new rate like whoa. And I know these niggas hate, but I laugh in their face. Got a quarter million dollars on my wrist. Woo! Big shit, ballin', house on the hills. I bring my